Well, hello and welcome to the Intuitive Messenger channel. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com. I'm a psychic medium, tarot card reader, animal communicator, and a transformational coach. So, um, hey, if you've not checked out my Patreon account, definitely do. You can follow for free. I take my, my daily draw that I do on all of my social media places and I dive a little bit deeper there. You can also try out Tier 1 or Tier 2 for free for seven days. If you do tier three or four, you get a free spread every month. You can see all the details over on my Patreon page. The link's below or just go to Patreon and find Mitchell Osborne. So this is your tarot energy forecast for the week of December the 4th through the 10th. Um, with an update, my camera now doesn't do what it used to do on my phone. That's how I'm doing the second camera. This is my, my phone. Um, it used to be different, but hey, you know what? Pivot and roll with the punches. So um, using the Tarot of Dreams. Woo, what just came flat? Oh, lots of coin cards are flying out. Looks like the um, Five of Coins. Looks like the uh, Two of Coins. Oh, let me see if, my car if they're upside down, any cards because um, I like to keep them in order. Um, but when they do turn upside down, I really pay attention. So, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Did you see that Leo Knight of Wands jump out and the Eight of Wands? So, um, really, the cards are jumping. Hey, if you don't know, we're going into Mercury Retrograde December the 3rd, 13th through January the 1st. It's about a three-week period where things get a little wonky with communications and electronics. Sometimes they can. Um, just know that it's a wave of energy. If you're prepared, you'll be able to surf it and ride it in. But also that we get into what they call the shadow period before and after. Some say as much as two weeks. I like to think about three to seven, maybe 10 days. So a little less than two weeks. You'll start to see or feel some of the effects. Depends on who you are. I tend to see them more before than during. Um, so, all right, this is the final. Oh, that was not a good shuffle. So it's not the final shuffle. So let me do one more. And then these are thick card stock and they're big cards. So they are a challenge to shuffle. So I right, put the cards down. What does the energy look like for you the week of December 4th through the 10th as we're preparing to get it into that Mercury Retrograde, which by the way, you can purchase a Mercury Retrograde spread from me and I will um, then, uh, what am I gonna do? I will deliver back to you in a YouTube video just like this. Also, the new moon is happening on the 12th. So the 12th new moon, great time to plant, create things then Mercury goes into retrograde. So it's gonna be a pretty much a powerful kind of a season. All right, what does the energy look like coming at you? Surprise, surprise, seven of wands. There's some of that Mars and Leo energy we saw jumping out earlier. But it's this card is about surprises, being caught off guard. Typically that five of wands is like, oh, arguing, fussy, fighting, six of wands. You come home from the battle victorious, seven of wands. You open up your door and all of a sudden, who's in my house? What's going on? Where's my property? Where's my family? Because you've been gone fighting the war and things have changed when you got back. Then eight of wands, it's like it takes you on a journey, get your head up out of the cloud. So there's some surprise energy coming with a little bit of Mars and Leo um, this week of December 4th through the 10th. How do you best navigate or work with that energy? You know what? For my Patreon account, I got um, Hermit and Four of Cups. So I got some of the same kind of energy because both the Hermit and the Four of Cups, so the Four of Cups was in this position, which is Cancer. This is not Cancer, this is Neptune. Um, this is connected back to Pisces as well, but this is a chill, relax, wait, ponder transformation, um, cocoon time. You know, this is, you're, you're stuck, you're waiting, but it, it's also like, don't do anything. There's no movement going on. So even though you're surprised, maybe just hang from the rafters for a little bit and see what happens with the mess down here. So there's a little bit of both of those energies of kind of like, don't do anything, just rela relax, very watery with the Neptune as the other one was very watery with Cancer and Moon with that um, Four of Cups. So if you chill, if you relax, if you wait for the gestation period with whatever the surprise was, what might you learn, grow, gain from it all? Ooh, I'm not so sure I like this. Ten of Swords, Sun with Gemini. So what will you gain from it? Some pain. <laughs> I don't like that. And you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the center of the deck and ask for a clarifying card because this is what you'll learn, grow, or gain from it. And it looks like pain. So from the center of the deck, clarifying card, 
Ooh, five of cups. I'm going to be honest with you. Doesn't seem like it's going to be pleasant, period. Five of cups as a clarifying card for ten of swords of what you might learn from it. More Mars energy, more Scorpio. So I'm going to say that if you're watching this, chances are we're going to just have to hold tight through some mental frustrations and then even clarifying card, emotional frustration. Um, hopefully on the other side of this, it will be something nice. And you know what? I will pull on the other side of this top of the card. On the other side of this, what does it look like? Okay, four of coins. We're solid. We're stable. We're, we're going to be okay um, eventually, but we got to get through this stuff to get to this stable stuff where, you know, we can wrap our stuff back up in our neat little box and move on from there. So, wow. As a tarot reader, sometimes you just keep pulling cards so you, <laughs> so you at least feel like you've got somewhere, not necessarily a better outcome, but at least like there's, okay, you're going to get through this eventually to the Four of Coins, which some people look at the Four of Coins as not such a good card either because it's like holding on stingy miserly because what comes next? Five of Coins where you're destitute, you're needing help. So um, yeah, <laughs> let me know how you're doing this week. December 4th through the 10th. All right. Sending you some beautiful high vibration on this journey. Namaste. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.